Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut your hair straight at home. And if you prefer layered hair, I also have a video on that which I will place in the video description below. So without further ado, let's get started on this video. So first you'll need a hairbrush. You'll also need a rat tail comb to part your hair with, as well as some hair ties. And I recommend the ones with the strong grip. You'll need hair cutting scissors that are sharp and you can get these at any beauty supply store. And the last thing you'll need is a handheld mirror so you can check out what your hair looks like at the back. So the best way to ensure that your at home haircut comes out the way you want it to, start off with dry hair. And this technique works best if your hair is clean and blow dried straight. Of course, if you don't have straight hair, you might have to start with wet hair. If you do that, keep in mind that when your hair dries, it will shrink to about two inches shorter. So first off, brush your hair to make sure there aren't any knots and tangles. And then you want to part your hair as you normally would and tie your hair at the back. So tie your hair into a low ponytail right at the top of your neck and make sure that it's placed right in the middle of your head. Tighten your ponytail and wrap a second hair tie right below the first one. And if you have long hair like mine, definitely add a third one because this will give you control as you cut your hair. If you've never cut your hair before, start with very small minor cuts. Obviously now is not the time to experiment with a drastic haircut guys. So the only reason why I cut a lot for mine is because I've cut my hair before and I, I kind of know what I like. Next you want to pull the bottom two hair ties down to where you want to make your cut. So for me, I'm going to do it about halfway because I actually want to get rid of a lot of length today. But as I mentioned earlier, if you've never cut your hair before, start by cutting about an inch or two off. And if you want to, you can always trim more of your hair later because you can always trim more, but if you accidentally chop off more than you want, you can't put it back. Bring your ponytail to the front and cut your hair right below the second hair tie. So an important thing here is remember to use hairdressing shears, not crafting scissors or kitchen shears guys because a lot of people have asked me and I don't recommend it because you will need sharp scissors for this. Cut slowly and carefully a little bit at a time and once your ponytail is off you can just continue to perfect that little nub and make sure it's nice and straight. Remove the hair tie and check the length of your hair. At this point, your hair will either have a rounded bottom edge or a slight curve, but don't worry, I will show you what to do next to achieve a completely straight back. Using a rat tail comb, part your hair down the center of your head, going down to the nape of your neck, then drape the left side of your hair over your left shoulder, and drape the right side of your hair over your right shoulder. Divide each side of your hair into two sections and tie them off with a hair tie. Doing this ensures that you cut each section straight so that you don't go back and forth on them too much. For this tutorial, I want my hair at the back to be completely straight and right now the front is just a little bit longer. So while I'm point cutting my hair, I'm going to take off more length at the front but keep the length at the back. Now run your ponytail down in between your forefingers and your middle finger and fan off the bottom. Then you want to start point cutting and by doing this, place your scissors at a 90 degree angle and make tiny little snippets in your hair using the points of the scissors. Doing this will soften the bluntness of the cut and can also hide small mistakes. So you want to just do a little bit more at the front because I'm trying to get rid of more of the length. And at the back, I'm just going to keep the length and get rid of any of the longer strands. So just do this until the edge of your hair looks straight and soft. Remove the hair ties and comb through your hair to make sure that it's all straight, but if you find any extra long lengths, then just grab your scissors again and point cut until it's completely straight. So that's the only area I'm going to fix, and when you're done with one side, proceed to do the exact same thing on the other side. And this is a great technique if you just want to keep the length of your hair but get rid of the split ends and dry ends and it will just make your hair look healthy overall. So I don't know if you can tell but I kept the front of my hair just a tad bit longer so that it looks almost like an A-line cut. And this is just personal preference. I have a different shaped head, so when I pull my hair to the back, it will look straight. But uh, if you want your hair at the front to look completely straight, then cut it straight. It's completely up to you. 
And finally, after you're done trimming your hair, you want to check if it's even. So just bring your hair to the front and make sure that both sides are the same length. And finally, do one last check at the back using your handheld mirror. And I was pretty satisfied with my results, so I just left it as is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you decide to give this haircut a try, then let me know how it goes in the video comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Ciao!